Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Defender Exploit Protection using Microsoft Intune. Exploit Protection settings can help protect against malware that usage exploits to infect devices and spread. Exploit protection consists of a number of mitigations that can be applied to either the operating system or individual applications. Before we start configuring exploit protection with Intune, let's have a look at the settings in the Windows Security Settings page. Open Windows Security App, click on App and Browser Control. Click on Exploit Protection Settings. The settings are divided under two tabs, System Settings and Program Settings. Within the System Settings, we can configure different mitigations. When an app isn't individually configured in the Program Settings, it will use the settings configured in the System Settings page. However, configuring a setting for specific apps overrides system-wide default settings. As a rule, it is better to protect individual applications since global defaults can have unforeseen effects, especially on older programs. An audit mode that can be used to examine the potential side effects of certain protection mechanism is only available for a few settings. All settings are turned on by default except force randomization for images. Click on Program Settings tab. In the Program Settings, we can add individual mitigation settings for each app. These settings will have precedence above the settings that are configured on the System Settings page. To configure individual app settings, click on that app and select Edit button. From this window, we can configure the settings as suggested by the security team. Let me cancel it. And by clicking on Add Program to Customize, we can add a new application here. It is highly recommended to create a baseline policy on a specific test device and export the settings from the device to use them on other devices. So basically, this is three steps process. First, configure the different exploit mitigations in the system settings section and the program settings section. In second step, click export settings to export the required configured settings. That export provides an XML file that can be used in Microsoft Intune. The third and last action is to actually distribute the created XML file by using Microsoft Intune. So this is how you can configure Defender Exploit Protection using Microsoft Intune. In our test lab, I'm not going to modify any exploit protection settings. We're just exporting the settings and using Intune, we are distributing that XML file. So to export the settings, click on Export Settings. Select the location to save the export XML file. Click on Save. We are saving this file under Documents folder. All the settings successfully exported into the XML file. Let me minimize this. Let's open File Explorer. Click on Documents. Under Documents, we have the required XML file. While creating the policy in Intune, we just need to upload the XML file and all the settings from that XML file will apply on the targeted devices. In Indian, we have got two options for that. We can create device configuration profile with endpoint protection template. Or we can use attack surface reduction policy from endpoint security. In this video, we will configure exploit protection using Endpoint Security Attic Surface Reduction Policy. First of all, we need to sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator 
or an Indian Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Attack Surface Reduction. Click on Create Policy. From the platform drop down list, select Windows 10 and later. From the profile drop down list, select Exploit Protection Profile Type. Click on Create. Provide a meaningful name and description for this profile. We have given name Test Exploit Protection Policy. Click on Next. In Configuration Settings, configure the settings as per the requirement. Toggle Exploit Protection Settings switch to Configured. Now click on Select a file and browse to the location of the Exploit Protection XML file. We will select the XML file which we have exported earlier. Select Exploit Protection Mitigation Settings XML file. Click on Open. We have one more setting with the name Disallow Exploit Protection Override. Select Enable option when you want that your end users should not be able to edit the Exploit Protection settings by using the Windows Security app. From the drop-down, we will select Enable Local Users Cannot Make Changes in the Exploit Protection Settings Area option. After configuring the required settings on Configuration Settings page, again you click on Next. On the Scope Tags page, configure the applicable scopes for the profile. In our example, we will go with the default scope tag. Click Next. On Assignments page, click on Add Groups. From the list, we will select our test device group named Taste Client 02. Click on Select and click on Next. In Review plus Create, review our configured settings. When we select Create, our changes are saved and the profile is assigned. Click on Create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the message Policy Taste Exploit Protection Policy created successfully. The policy is listed in the Attack Surface Reduction Policies list. After applying the Exploit Protection configuration, it is always good to know how to verify the applied configuration. The easiest method is to verify a successful configuration is by using the block users from editing the Exploit Guard Protection Interface setting. That setting will make the applied configuration grey out and show the message that this setting is managed by your administrator. To see the result, go back to a Windows 10 device. But this time, we are on our lab win 10 cli 2 device. This Windows 10 device is member of lab client 2 device group. First, we will start manual sync with Intune. Click on sync. Wait for the sync process to finish. Even after 5 minutes, still the sync process is in progress. So you are not going to wait for the sync process to complete. I'm going to restart a Windows 10 device. Let's restart it. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. Open Windows Security app. Let's double click on it. Click on App and Browser Control. Under Exploit Protection, click on Exploit Protection Settings. Now let me maximize it. All the configuration options are grey out and show message that this setting is managed by your administrator. Let me click on Program Settings tab. Now. The end user is not able to add program to customize. That option is also not available. Select an existing app and click on Add it. Confirm all the options are grey out for the app as well. 
click on cancel try to remove the existing app let's click on remove nothing will happen when we click on remove button we can also use powershell to confirm that the policy is applied successfully let's right click on start button select windows powershell admin click on yes Using this command, we can also get the information about exploit protection settings configured on this Windows 10 device. Remember, the output is going to be big. Let's press Enter key. And as you can see, we are getting lots of information as the output of this command. Let me close Windows PowerShell. There is one more place from where we can confirm the successful deployment of our exploit protection policy. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Click on Refresh. Click on our policy name. Click on View Report. And here we can see the name of our Windows 10 device, Lavwindan hyphen CLI02. One entry for system account and second entry for our test user one. In both cases, we can confirm check-in status is success. Let me click on lab win 10 CLI02. And here we can see both configured setting with succeeded status. So from Indian portal, we can also confirm that the exploit protection policy is successfully applied on our test device. We haven't configured any exploit protection settings on our Windows 10 device. We have just used the default settings for our exploit protection and exported that into the XML file. And using that XML file, we have deployed exploit protection policy in Microsoft Intune. So basically, we have done nothing for our exploit protection settings. But this video can gives you an idea that how we can configure Defender Exploit Protection settings using Microsoft Intune. That's all for this video on how to configure Defender Exploit Protection using Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.